with two guys on a ride today. I'm at the Auto Fest in New Ulm, Minnesota. This is their 19th year. Fantastic car show, probably 400 cars and trucks and rat rides and hot rides. And we got a cool car today here. So I'm here today with Jeff and we're gonna let him tell you about a little bit about himself and a lot about his car. And it's a really cool car. So Jeff, take it away. What have you got here? 34, three Wendell, Ford, Coupe. It's a 454 engine. It's bored and stroke to 498. Uh, rear end's nine inch uh, Ford. The uh, transmission's a turbo 400. Uh, 871 blower, running right around 950 horse with, without nitrous. Nitrous adds another two and a quarter. Uh, okay, uh, now now what have you done with this car? You were telling me uh, it's been on the drag strip. Yeah, yeah. And what kind of time, what kind of speed were you recording uh, there? The best one without on motor was 983 at 140. <laughs> and you said that after that sub 10 time, the officials kind of came over to you and said, uh, yeah, uh, maybe said, dial it back some. Yeah, yeah, that just told me don't do that again <laughs> just because of my, I don't have a cage and I don't have a competition license. So. <laughs> They get kind of sticky about that. You stuff. took it at nine, 983 and uh, 140 miles an hour down the strip. Yep. Now, you, you told me obviously too, though, you run slicks on the back yes. at that yep. time. Yep. And yep. These are your road tires right yep. now. Yep. Well, tell me about the body and the frame, You and, and then we want to cover the engine a little it's bit a, more. There's a fiberglass Downs body. It was one of the ones, the one of the last ones to come off the line before they got sold out, and it's a Downs frame. The rack and pinion is all flaming river. The steering column is flaming river. Um, radiator's aluminum. Okay. Why the um, why this body style? Why the three window coupe? I don't know. It's just I, they've always they've always appealed to me. I've always liked the three the either the 32s, 33s, 34s. Yep. yep. Just something about them that just kind of makes them a hot rod. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. just the the yeah. the classic look for yeah. a hot rod there's yeah. no disputing when you see it it's a hot rod yeah right yeah, yeah. the rake of them the to kind of the stance and right and just, you were telling me the way they've got you kind of set in the grass here the tail end uh ground is a little bit lower yeah, yeah it's a little uh, lower. or you could really be able to tell the rake yet even right. better yeah, if you're on level ground it would be it would have a little bit more severe rake to it than okay what, than what's there right now. so tell us about this engine you got here then well it's just based on the 454 okay um, so we got a chevy, chevy shape block yep, 454 big block 454 yep it's it's Ford 70. Okay. It's drove to a 498. Wow. 871 more. Uh, okay. Demon carbs. Okay. Now you went with carbs. You've got dual car. You got dual yep. four barrel carbs on yep. there. Yep. Instead of fuel injection. Why yep. is that? Just like the old school look. And I know carburetors. I don't know fuel okay. injection. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So uh, yeah, you've got a little uh, history, or what you call it, a past. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, racing. well, I guess it depends on, yeah. I was, well, was, usually a past means something bad happened and people say history. Right, it's, well, sometimes it was, sometimes it wasn't, you okay. know. Some of the partying we did at Brainerd was pretty fun, so. Okay, uh, but, so was that your main haunt, is uh, the Brainerd? Yeah, track? yeah, I went to Brainerd, went to Rock Falls in Wisconsin. Okay. Uh, went to Cedar Falls in Iowa a few times, but okay. uh, mostly Brainerd. Okay. When is the last time you had this up there then? Uh, last you, year. Wait, so this, and that was the yep. last time you ran this one down yep, the, yep. Okay. at uh, the MSRA Super Secret Fun Run. It's okay. the weekend after the Nationals. Now, when you were drag racing those years, were you, it, was it a profession or was it a hobby? No, it was just a hobby. Is but, that right? Yeah, were, yeah. were there a lot, were, uh, were there a lot more hobby guys than yeah, professional guys? Yeah, it was. Okay. You, you got a majority of the, the, the guys that were really, really good and uh, kind of were, they went, to more tracks than I did. Okay. They were a lot better. They made money at it. Okay. You know? 
Um, so you build them through the week and race them on the weekend? Yeah, pretty much. Fix and then what you fix them. In. <laughs> yep, yep, that's all it goes. Yep. Okay. Exactly. But so, you got a lot of guys out of Twin Cities area. They were they were running to three or three or four different tracks, you know. So okay. they got to be pretty good. Some of them were making money at it, you know, where now, we just kind of did as Now, well. as far as actual, uh, like, regional track days and stuff, Brainerd only did it a few times, yeah, what, yeah, three, four times a year? Four times a year. They but had, they were open for novice had, guys like you that you could go any time of the year? How did no, that work? No, they only, they only, they, they ran their events. They had four bracket events right. during the summer months, and that was it. Oh, the, oh, so you couldn't go in off times? No, no. They, oh, now so the, you ran those same weekends they were having their the, events? Yeah, yeah. The oh, only that, time we didn't run there was when they back when they had the uh, Crown Auto Nationals back in 84 okay then we they invited the top 10 cars to be bracket to run off there during, oh. to fill time okay and uh, that was one of them guys <laughs> now you said you made the, you made the call yep yep and then just got the Borla yeah the Borla were, uh, okay. they were four in the one deal and yeah and I just kind of ran across them by happenstance so really when I built the Suzumis for it, I had a guy down in uh, Forest Lake actually coated them for me with a Suzuki coat. Oh yeah. And uh, I called him one day and told him I was building these headers, and he said, "I might have a set of those mufflers on the shelf." Is that right? Because they were trying to mock up and make right. some headers. It looks like they were made for your application. Yeah. Well, just... they basically were because I because right. I made that the, the tubes were bought in a kit, and then I just cut them to length. And oh, made, I see. Made them fit. Okay. So okay. I didn't bend them. So oh. Okay. 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 For the bending. <laughs> oh, but it, it 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 works. It looks yeah, great. Yeah, I wanted something that kind of hugged the, the frame. Yeah, yeah. And you so said it's got a really good. If you oh, get yeah. into it, she's loud. But yeah, going yeah. down the highway, it's got a good it's, rumble it's to it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Oh, let's see. I just want to get. I want to get a shot of this side as well. Now the the Power Plus Speed Shop is uh, a meaning of, or is just a cool graphic. Just a, yeah, just a graphic. Cool graphic. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, what is your favorite thing about this car? If you can name one favorite thing about your car. Uh, <laughs> driving it. Driving. Yeah. Yeah. I bet you get. I bet you get, get some looks on the highway with oh, it. Oh yeah, yeah. Just it's, or, it's, even around town. A lot of thumbs up. Yeah, I'm yeah. sure. Just sitting there and at stoplight, a little bit of rumble to it, yeah, yeah. and just a, a monster waiting to pounce. Yeah, yeah. It's, I love it. It's, it's I love fun. It. Well, Jeff, thank you so much for sharing your uh, 33 Ford three-window coupe dragster. And again, the horsepower on this? Yeah, it's just, it just uh, on the dyno, it's right at about 950. Yeah, as, as he says that so nonchalantly, folks, it's like, oh yeah, it's just 950. I got to tell you, when I walked up here, uh, he did say, but you know, if I if I wanted to throw nitrous, I could probably get another 220, 220 out of it. So we could be looking at the 1100 uh, horsepower. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> As he says, real calm. I'm not if sure. If your car if your car doesn't scare you a little bit, it's not fast. I think that would 1100 horsepower scare me quite a bit more than a little bit. It's, 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 it's fun. <laughs> Jeff, thank you so much. Yeah. Appreciate you taking yeah. the time. Yep. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you.